all right so since last time we formed another party i assume yep we actually have a decent force we can take on maybe grab or maybe you know maybe actually expand a little bit not just stay within our borders and defend them forever that is the idea at least I need to go take out the renegades. They are gonna fight our villagers, stop them from getting to the places they need to go. But these two are mine. And we just pieced out the Valandians, right? No, the Empire, right. Yeah, there's no point in going to war with the Western Empire, to be honest. Unless they expand into the Northern Empire, that is. I will see what happens. Look at that. We, uh, we ought to resolve a big army. Well. An army with 70 something troops. If we don't lose anyone, we ought to resolve a smaller battle with uh, like 30 enemies. We lose a guy. That's always nice. Right, we need better horses as well. Yep. Let's keep all the loot and I can uh, give them to the troops so we can level them up. There we go. Do we have anything to sell? Not really. Okay, let's pick up the horses. I really should go around buying more horses, to be honest. We can move a little bit faster on the map. Land level 3, right? Let's set them up fine. Mm, right, I think I remember something in the options I need to change. Okay, we fixed that up. Let's bring this up to like... I think the default was... Uh, let's just see what the default is. 75. So let's bring it down to like 50. Name post battle loot screen. We're gonna leave all these. Do we need more mules? Not really. Um, we need to. We need our beard to show, right? We can't cover that up. I think we got the most, like, the highest stand equipment already. Damn. Hmm. Supposedly this will just gonna have a ton of more horses, hopefully. Can we actually... Okay, so we can go to war with the Kuzites, which is... Oh god, that's gonna be awful. Valendians and the Batanii. Yeah, I'm gonna go pick up some horses, then we're gonna declare war on the Batanii. 
Do you have the influence? Yes, I do. They have horses, my ass. Oh, that's not good. Lords might, might decide to like declare war on them. Let's get over there. Actually, let's call it in right away. 71%. And there we go. Right, I need to, need to make a... The, the companions that are going to manage this. So hopefully one of our bat battalion fians actually like levels up so we can make him a uh, governor. And we do need one governor for the Nordic territory as well. Mm. Let's call our guys in and join that army. In the siege, not join the uh, army, actually. Okay, so hopefully... They're not just gonna leave the siege. And leave me besieging it. There we go, I was siege battle. Nice. Mm, do we want two shields? Maybe round shield or oh, shield. What did I grab? This one. Yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm still a little bit hungover still, but you know. Old age and all that. Do wonder. How, how Dred's hangovers are, right? When he's a million years old. Okay, what the fuck did the AI build? Just a bathroom ground? Oh, this is gonna suck ass. We do outnumber him by a shitload. Not my save our asses, but uh, the fact that there is no siege equipment is the uh, awful. Yeah, you can have horses. You can actually jump on the walls as well with the horses, which is freaking funny, to say the least. Mm. All right, there are no like breaches, so I can't really show you that. You can go up the walls. It is a bit tricky because you're getting shot, obviously. You know. What it can be done. Oh, here is. I can't really tell where the fucking ladders are. Okay, there's one set of ladders. Where the fuck's the other one? Thank you so much for the battering ram. They still haven't fixed sieges though, the DI yeah, just still gets stuck a little bit on the ladders and the siege towers, unfortunately. Oh well, we are going for a Viking-ish playthrough, right? With a fucking axe, and throwing axes. So that's why. I have throwing axes though. And uh, well, the pathfinding does suck, but uh, they, f they apparently fixed it. I mean, they show videos where they fixed it. Let's see. Don't get stuck. Come on. Come on. Move. Oh. Uh-oh. Run, you fools, lest we get shot at. I mean, it got a little bit better. I even got the mod that actually like, makes it even a little bit more better. But, you know, at this year, a year has fucking passed. They should have fixed it by now.
Okay, maybe get the shield out for this. Look, look at the kills they're getting with the catapults. Jesus Christ. Wait, I have an axe. So much for a shield now. Yeah, okay, pathfinding is always gonna be an issue. I mean, it's it's decent. They only just get they get stuck on the side, siege towers and ladders. That's about it. It really screws you over if you're going uh, with like a lot of troops on the field. This is getting better though. Up here, nope. Ooh, let's see this. Can you actually refill throwing axes? Okay, that would that would be stupid if it did work. And I got the oh, right. We can't see the mods now. Uh, realistic battle mod. Realistic battles, yeah, something like that. It actually like makes the AI a little bit smarter in battles in field battles as well. They don't actually just charge at the enemy. Or sit back like an idiot. They actually like go regroup and place their archers behind the infantry. The f yeah, look at look at that over there. None of them are making up to, making it up to ladders. Literally none of them. Okay, there she goes. Shield maiden, of course. Look at the butt blood dripping from up there, though. That's nice. I may have fucked up a little bit. Fucking two-handed sword there is gonna kill me in one hit. This is on the highest difficulty as well. Yeah, apparently there was an invisible wall there. Shoot them, my friends. Shoot them. Come on. And there's stamina as well in this mod. Jesus Christ, guys. Knock out the catapults. Okay, 68 losses. Not bad. Okay, we do need one of these to actually be, uh... Hmm, I can't remember the combination. Engineering, stewardship, and trade, I think, was the ideal for the governor. So let's go with that. I mean, hopefully we get this. Harold Bloodaxe. He's on our side, probably. Yeah, definitely. Maybe. I haven't had any of my companions die yet, unfortunately. So we can actually see how how that works. I do wonder, like, how many... Jesus Christ. So many friends. Like, at what, po at what point, at what, how many times do you have to go down before it actually kills you? That's gonna be my question. Or do we get like traits that are like, like gonna lower our speed or something? That would be pretty cool if you, if you, if you go down a shitload, a shitload of times in game. You actually, you know, literally, you know, limp around, cripple, become a cripple. Uh, you can't, uh, you can't have kids. I got to... Yeah, I got her as a wife. 
and it, it's funny like happens uh, doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing you, you get kids it just happens which, which was always funny to me like in Rome Total War and uh, any well any Total War game like you're off in the fucking desert crusading and all that and your wife has a kid like the prisoners nah, do we really want to Maybe I should like see if I can recruit some of those. Share the loot. Oh, this pisses me off so much. The like donation limit. If 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 the castle is or the castle or the city is yours, you can dump all the uh, prisoners in there. But if it's not, oh, well, there's a limit. Oh, fuck you, any limits. I'm just waiting to see how big of an army they're gonna throw at us. And really, yeah, they're not at war with anyone else. Wait a minute. Alright, this shows us. Right, right. Tier four higher. I will try to get the faction rolling in, maybe a separation one. Once you have some of this territory up here, it'd be interesting to see how that works. Because the uh, mod does say you're gonna, you know, have a civil war. I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. Do we actually need to? I mean, if it's gonna be like you need to take all of their land from the other faction. On the other side, that's gonna be fucking annoying. If you need to like beat him in battle once or twice, that's gonna be ideal. Let's see. I always forget what the mod is called. Okay, realistic battle AI. I think it's called like that as well. I'm not sure. Do we have links to all these on my guild server? Will the mind if I do? Okay, let me see what's this guy's name. Cole the sniper. Sounds like a guy who can handle a, a being a governor, right? You mean uh, prisoners I can recruit, like in the warband? Ooh. Tons of units in here already. Plus there's a mod like this. Getting garrisons in and getting a ton of troops isn't really an issue in this, I'd say. Like I'm at party capacity more or less. Yeah. Only I can only have five extra troops. We want berserkers, these guys. Let's go for more berserkers. Getting enough troops in so you have a full party isn't really an issue in this, I'd say. Manage castle. I guess it's, so since he is a battalion, we shouldn't have any rebellions or anything. Let's dump a couple some money in here. Set these up. And this is a really cool mod because you know what I can do now? I can just do this management, copy to all castles and the the AI is going to pick up these troops and recruit them up or like level them up to tier 3 and have them in the city. I don't have to do anything. You have a bunch of recruiters going around recruiting troops for you. Plus you can mess with all of this, but I left it on default. Activity disabled. 
NPC settings. Enable NPCs. NPCs create garrison guard parties. Ah, interesting. I didn't look into this. NPC world recruit. Enable auto recruitment for all NPC garrisons. Mm, I don't wonder how this is gonna work. And there's cheats. <laughs> Here's some wage multiplier. Custom garrison size multiplier. I'd have to mess with that some other time. Gonna set that up. You have nothing else to do here. Now. How big is the army gonna be that's gonna like try and take this back? That's the question. Okay, these are going to siege that, I assume. Shield increase your hit points by two. Hit points don't matter. On the highest difficulty, you can get one shot by most things. Well, throwing weapons, at least. Snow and forest terrains. I think the snow and forest terrains, right? Gonna be the better one here. I do need to, like, go and dump these prisoners in some other city. Or a castle. So we can get some... Uh, well, so we can get the shitload of renown for him. Hopefully, while I go here, they don't besiege this. Might be the thing that happens. I gained the level. Nice. Uh, we're gonna need... Let's see, leadership tac tactics, definitely. Let's see. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Um, anything else calls by? Let's go over there, see if we can dump them in there. Or actually, let's go help these guys out, so maybe we can snag the castle for myself as well. Oh, never mind. Oh, shit. Well, so much for them. There's no... F uh, I don't think they could... They can get to run away fast enough from there. Now 265 garrison units in there. I do want a, like a siege battle to take place, but... Uh... Yep, there we go. We can get the defense siege battle, but uh, usually... They just... Uh, they besiege it, then they run away. You can't get the AI to actually attack you unless you're... Oh, fuck. Fuck it. Unless you... Unless they outnumber you like 10 to 1 or something like that. Let's see. Maybe we can sneak in here. Let's see. Let's save just in case. Infantry, 36 rain troops, 7, 7 k, 1 horse archer. Not bad. We'll see what happens. Oh, they, be, be, they began the assault already. Okay. The so 500 versus the 800. Maybe that's the way we could uh, force them to actually have a defensive siege or, you know, get the defensive siege. If we actually like wait for them to attack, then jump in. Okay. They don't have anything on them.
We don't even have any siege equipment. Alright, let's see. Is there actually a battle place to defend this? Uh, nope. We have to man the walls. Now, I would like mess with the AI and what they're gonna do, but um, that usually doesn't work out well. I was just, you know. Right? You can, you can do this. You can jump, actually jump up the walls with the fucking horse. You can jump off the walls as well, which I did at one point. Well, that was fucking uh, funny. Oh, come on, game. You don't make me a liar. Okay, maybe not here. Okay, never mind. If it's a wooden settlement, you can't get up there. How the fuck did that go that way? I mean, this is gonna be the perfect place, right? If I don't get the fucking spear in my own face, that does. Just like the good old days. I'm getting shot at. I see someone like fly upwards to the right. I think I did. Oh, if I could, I could squeeze in there to get uh, they get the hits off, that would be nice. This should be winnable, even on the highest difficulty. Cool if your own troops didn't fuck you over in this in this area. What's up, Miron? Funny how we can I can always tell like if the music is from uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. They always have they always have the like uh, the same vocals in the background. For the most part. Where the fuck are reinforcements? Oh, 
Yeah, this, uh, look at that. This is still a problem. Like, uh, the reinforcements come in, but uh, the only like first two formations get them. jump over come on where the fuck is the rest of our troops okay so the AI definitely needs a little bit more uh, work to say the least Actually, that's a little bit... Yeah, that is smart. The catapults is right there. Now, I did try a couple of times some defensive sieges as well. So, okay, like, a, you know, play, you know, choke holding enemy, like, uh, maybe... Okay, this is not the best example, but if, like, there's a second layer on the city, like, choke hold the enemy there. But, um, yeah, the, 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 the thing that the reinforcement uh, gets the reinforcements into one of these... Formations only that still fucks you over. Okay, we might we might lose this. Well, the funny thing is, if I auto resolve this, we might win. So I'm actually gonna try and alter all this, see if we can win. There's only a hundred of them left as well. Okay, so this is definitely winnable. Let's try and do it. Let's auto save. Away. Let's figure it out, though. Unless they decide not to attack this time, which can happen. I can mind. Did they have a battering ram this time, though? Place the eh, we can place the infantry down here and have the archer shoot at the enemy. Can we place our? Oh yes, we can. Nice. Uh, not the best of ideas to be sure. If we do want the catapults to be doing their thing, so. Where are the ladders again? Uh, shit. I think they come up here, right? Okay, no ladders are there. And where else? He yeah, here. Let's see what we are gonna do. Oh my god, this... I wish this worked a little bit better. There's an infantry line there. There's archers. I did. Yeah, this is what I need. Uh, two archers in a party. Why is it... What? 
Why is it taking the troops out? What? Why is it taking troops out of this one? Okay, let me... Need to have at least one formation of this type to change... Well, we do already. What? God damn it, game. The second one, archers as well. Uh, wait. Yeah, these are no skirmisher. Well, these are kind of skirmishers, kind of. This might might take a while. Let's see. Can't change how many troops are in this one though. Sixty. That's our uh, governor. And okay, so two, two and three are the archers. They actually take damage when they fall off like that. Yeah, this, the, yeah, this, this makes sense. Look at, look at that. Uh, we want a bunch of watchers up here. You know what we do? We should actually spread them out. I mean, they're gonna move out of that position anyway, so uh, I'm just wasting time at this point. Not the second archer group up here. Okay, that's first tier infantry. And these are. This is a mix of throwing weapons and berserkers, apparently. What the fuck's the uh, troop? What the fuck's the five? Infantry as well. Um, we're gonna place the infantry here. We're gonna have them down here, just in case. The rest of the infantry here. I'm gonna have these. In, I mean, the AI is gonna fuck all this up, so let's see what happens. Mm, I'm gonna get stuck instantly. That's what's gonna. That's what's gonna happen. Uh, and I can't move at all. See, you can go up the ladders. You look at that, this. God damn it. Ah, oh, shit.
I will need to like go and place them all where they should be again. How about you fucking move, horse? It seems these guys are going to be stuck forever. Okay, I'm not going to get through there anytime soon. And apparently the archers are here to defend the gates. Look at the... You, you morons! There's oh god. Uh, it might be better if I just leave him down than place him on the beginning of the battle. Or we can just auto resolve, that can work as well. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice and easy win. Okay, we're not taking any of these, we just need the horses. Yeah, so that's so that's how we win, guys. You just uh, auto-resolve it. But that's an awful place to freaking defend. Awful. Just awful. So that was one of their armies, where's the second one? Okay, let's disband these two so they can actually go and recruit some troops. And man, these villages just have the highest tier infantry all the freaking time. Well, uh, high steel archers, I guess. Not infantry. Okay, let's see. I mean, I would fight that, but... The AI decision-making just pisses me off too much. Yeah, that's the... What they need to fix. Oh, fuck. Well, so much for that castle, I can't defend it. Okay, never mind. The army is going to defend that. I'm not sure if they have enough. 100? Uh, yeah, yeah, they do have enough. We can get in on the action. Well, no shield and no range weapon are reload. You have again 5% movement speed. We're gonna go for that. It's not gonna save us though. 
or help us. Unless I actually turn, uh, get rid of the shield and throwing out weapons. Which was the idea in the first place. Or so actually, we don't have any cap captains for them. Now they do need to fix that. Like if I if I tell my infantry to stay, you know, place them on the battlefield on the uh, you know defensive siege, fucking stay there, don't move. Because that's the reason you fucking lose these battles. I also wish it worked like in Warband. Sacrifice my troops, we all already outnumber them. Archers. What the? Archers. Okay, the formation's fucked up since the siege, that's nice. Do need to check what the fuck happened there. No. Okay. Just a bunch of reinforcements coming in. Is Drizzy gonna stream tonight, though? This is Saturday, right? Yeah. I want to see. The, or is he playing uh, on the rail still? <laughs> the Freak World? Yeah, what that, that fucking is. Assume it's another top down RPG. What's up, Brian? Oh, that freak roll he created. He handcrafted all the all the people in it. <laughs> oh God, uh, imagine once uh, the, the those like abominations mingle mingle and the, the atrocities that are gonna be born from that what the fuck are we attacking that though yeah. cav forces of course they're the only ones who stick around gonna like play one of them or is he gonna you know just sit in sidelines and see how they intermingle Ivar <laughs> yeah, the Ivar might win yeah so Dingus Alfredo Alfredo Dingus delicious Okay, there we go, we got some troops. Alpha Chino. <laughs> That's a name. Oh god. How far wait, did, he didn't stream yesterday, right? Friday. He doesn't stream uh I don't wanna see when he does play on the rail, how far he gets, because I literally I got to the like core city, and then and from then on, I'm I was just stuck. I had no fucking clue what to do. Okay, so swing speed with pole arms. Uh, we're not gonna be swinging the pole arms. Uh, 
Well, in Paradox, maybe he's a master at Paradox games, more or less. Don't see him losing. And he did pretty well in under AL, considering he's uh, fisting only. It's far better than any of my builds. But can I leave these fucking prisoners anywhere? See over there, they probably didn't dump any of them in there. Unless, I mean, the, most of them are just gonna run away and away, so maybe a waste of time. Let's get some more berserkers. Did beat two of their armies, so it should be fine for a little while. Now, I do want to, like, pick up the... Oh, for fuck's sake. Pro Crusader Kings 3 and, uh, you know, play with the mods that makes you actually, like, uh, be able to play the battles in Banlord. I'm not quite sure how the... Like, how the, how does the how does Banlord decide, like, what troops are going to be what level? And uh, that's my question. Or what type, you know? Because, you know, there's so much... They, unless they actually like add custom troops that are like uh, the same for all the factions I don't need to check that out actually I do need to buy Crusader Kings 3 first that's, that's what I should do I think I played it on a free weekend or something what I recall anyone gonna save that? Oh, come on, guy. Don't besiege that. Go help us out, out there. Come on. You bastard. I do have the fill stacks uh, mod on, so the AI doesn't... The AI recruits by your own... By the player rules, so they're not gonna have a bunch of units just out of... Spawn out of thin air. 654. How big, the, uh, how big is the army here? Uh, could actually take that on. If you get there in time, that is. Ooh, lucky. Like how he was, oh no, don't attack, attack me. I didn't do nothing wrong. Right, we need to fix this up. Uh, these were the cab forces, so 50-50 on that, right? Wait a minute. So this is our infantry guy, the stallion, no sh wait a minute, leadership, being confused, riding, pole arms, sure. Okay, so this one, this one we're saving up for the Another party. 50 50 there. For archer, that's fine. Horse archers can do, do their own thing. I was about to say it looks like I'm commanding all the troops, but I'm not. Plus, uh, I do have to, like, learn to play the Crusader Kings a little bit better before I play it with the Banalord mod.
Oh, that's my guy. All right, and they did fix uh, the AI like shooting at the like the infantry in this, especially a shield wall. The archers actually go for the archers if they can if they have a shot on them. So that's pretty good. And shield wall, uh, shield walls actually do what they're supposed to. You know, fight in a shield wall, or just quite willy nilly. Well, kind of. I mean, the the you don't see like one on one battles anymore, or just you know mosh pit of troops going at each other. Actually, like stay a little bit in formation. This is much easier, right? <laughs> Chosen Wolf. Uh, I think that's a mercenary troop, right? The easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I think their calves are the only ones left. What's up, Fabby? How's it going? All oh, right, we can actually. Right. I forgot. I forgot about this. God damn it! It's only one guy. Kill him. I do love how the. Which is like, which way the sword goes. Yeah, this this is why I hate skirmisher camp. You just prolong the battles. Or cav in general, general, because the cav is kind of stupid in this game. They don't actually do anything worthwhile. I guess unless you literally amass a whole army of skirmish archers and cav, then it could it can maybe work. Okay, okay, you're free to go. The lords, I will take prisoner though. I mean, they just throw, what, through four armies at us. They shouldn't be able to recruit that fucking fast. We're gonna have so many freaking archers with us. Let's go and try and help these guys out. Hopefully another, uh, mm, there's not gonna be another army showing up there anytime soon. Seven levels up, yes. I'm not sure how I feel about the berserkers, like getting them to not die instantly is kind of an issue. 